I'm Guy McPherson of GuyMcPherson.com. Type in those letters, it'll take you to Nature Bats Last. And I'm going to comment on Sam Carana. As nearly as I can tell, Sam Carana is a natural scientist, and therefore he knows what he's talking about when it comes to the sciences. He has posted two very controversial pieces at the Arctic News blog in the last few years. Most notably, in the first case, he published a piece at the Arctic News blog on Friday, July 15th, 2016, titled A Global Temperature Rise of More Than 10 Degrees Celsius by 2026. In a follow-up post, also at the Arctic News blog, posted on Wednesday, November 27th, 2019, titled Accelerating Greenhouse Gas Levels, Karana added 8 degrees Celsius to his previous 10 degree temperature increase. Now, I, I have commented on both of his posts, both of his blog posts, and I think the first one had it just about exactly right. I think the second one has it just about exactly right as well. If we assume the greenhouse gas equivalent of carbon dioxide increase. For example, in his second blog post that I have mentioned, Sam Carana mentions a paper by Schneider and colleagues published in Nature Geosciences on February 25th, 2019. It's titled Possible Climate Transitions from Breakup of Stratocumulus Decks Under Greenhouse Warning. In that paper, it is pointed out by Karana, and I'm going to read from the abstract, stratocumulus clouds cover 20% of the low latitude oceans and are especially prevalent in the tropics, in, sorry, in the subtropics. They cool the earth by shading large portions of its surface from sunlight. Here we report how stratocumulus decks respond to greenhouse warming, warming in large eddy simulations that explicitly resolve cloud dynamics in a representative subtropical region. In the simulation, stratocumulus decks become unstable and break up into scattered clouds when CO2 levels rise above 1,200 parts per million. And if that figure applies also to the greenhouse gas equivalent of 1,200 parts per million, then I think Karana is absolutely correct and probably conservative in concluding the additional 8 degree Celsius global average temperature rise. The abstract goes on. In addition to the warming from rising CO2 levels, this instability triggers a surface warming of about 8K globally and 10K in the subtropics. Now, an 8 Kelvin temperature increase is exactly the same as an 8 Celsius temperature increase. So that makes perfect sense for Karana to reach that conclusion. I will, I will con continue from the abstract of the paper by Schneider and colleagues. Once the stratocumulus decks have broken up, they only reform once CO2 concentrations drop substantially below the level at which the instability first occurred. Climate transitions that arise from this instability may have contributed importantly to hothouse climates and abrupt climate changes in the geological past. Such transitions to a much warmer climate may also occur in the future if CO2 levels continue to rise. Again, I think Sam Karana is taking this information from the peer-reviewed literature and for the most part presenting a very conservative response in his posts. So I don't think we can remotely ignore these significant potential increases in global average temperature pointed out by Sam Karana.